before there was a Passport Bros, there was another movement that was surging uh, in the early 2000s. In 2006, Essence Magazine wrote an article on the high sex traffic market in Brazil that black men was taken advantage of. At the same time, there was a particular brother named, his last name was Greece. He's a filmmaker, he's a producer. He just came from Brazil and saw that the article was spewing mistruths once again about black men. So he decided to do a movie. He did the movie, the movie was called Frustrated. And black men saw this movie and then they started to get their passports. This was about 2007, 2008. They started getting their passports. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I came across this video on TikTok and I found it very interesting because, you know, I see this at the time on the comments all the time. Yo, you have somebody who's probably a former vet in their 50s or 60s saying, you know, we've been doing this, we've been doing that. Um, you have somebody like him reference the movie Frustrated, who I've actually shared a live panel with him. He was on the same panel that I was on when I was on Zoom to Thailand's live like months ago. This was like right when my channel was taken off. And as you know, what's happened in less than a year is pretty much led to where we at now as far as passport grows, um, excuse me, passport bros go. So when I saw this and it was titled The Origin of the Original Passport Bros, I wanted to dive in and just kind of get my thoughts and perspectives on it. Because um, I'm sure everybody's going to probably probably basically say what I literally just led off with. You know, this been going on for decades and it just became popular in the last year and a half. And that's pretty much how I see it. But I am aware of the... Uh, frustrated series because I think he just did the third he did the third one um, when we shared a panel with Richie Mack so I'm gonna let him speak some more and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it all right let's get it then you had the rise of social media Instagram uh, you had social media creating the illusion that black women, all black women were tens, so they couldn't settle for black men that were fives and six. And then you had the rise of Kevin Samuels, in which he was the last hope for our black community as far as keeping black men and black women, black families together. And after his passing, we saw black, not all black women, but many black women celebrate the death of Kevin Samuels. Bruh. Emotional damage. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Heard you know what? It's really, 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 really sad how how much of an impact Kevin Samuel's death had. I didn't to be honest with you guys, I really wasn't I really wasn't expecting it. But after seeing the reaction from the women, I'm not surprised by it. But I said I'll say I'll say this, I'm not surprised by the reaction of men seeing seeing them celebrate his death. But I'm surprised by the reaction of them celebrating this death because it takes mixan it takes misandry to a whole nother level. Because I disagree with a lot of this F in his mindset. But that doesn't mean I'ma celebrate somebody's death because I don't believe in what they believe. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's like that's that's a whole nother level, man. Like it really is. And considering what he stands for, it pretty much lets you know that these women want to control men. They won't say it, but they actually say otherwise. Because uh, any man that stands up for masculinity or being a leader, yeah, I mean, women with this Western mindset, they get triggered because they think it means we want to control them. Let's keep it moving. And I think that was the turning point. And that was where there was creation of the Passport Bros. And now it's a, it's a movement in which we are actually witnessing the dissolvement of the black community in the U.S. And you have all the vitriol and hatred from black women uh, um, spewing hatred and vitriol towards the passport bros. At the same time, 
they're participating in uh, SIP and paint events in which they're hiring male uh, strippers to give them blow um, so they can give them. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. She belongs to the streets. Y'all heard it. That's the sad part. It's like, it's so much projection coming on from the women. First, you try to attack passport bros. That's not working. So then y'all started attacking the women that these men are going to. Those women clap back at you. I'm like, y'all got one of them. Y'all got one of them to turn and submit because she's just tired. AKA Helga. Y'all know who that is. And please don't ask me in the comments what happened. I'm so tired of everybody asking me in the comments what happened. Just look at my live. Or just go to Joanne's channel. Like, trust me. Like, if you don't know by now, you've been living under a rock. Alright. So then you had that happen. And now it's getting to the point where when men can't even go to the can't even go to a post office and get one. They're ordering it online. They're so backed up that you gotta make an appointment to go in and fill out an application if you go to the post office. You better off just trying to do it online. Cause I don't know if y'all know, man. But I did a video on this. We broke the record for for most supplied pa passports passed out last year. I got mine last year. I got mine in October. So just to give you guys some perspective, man. Like this is, you know I mean, this movement really is growing. It's really growing. And he's right. Like I said earlier, Kevin Samuels was the turning point. That's why I said, like, I really want to know what the stats were from June on all the way to the rest of the year because that's when it that's when it really started picking up steam let's keep it moving oh but before i do that these sip and paint parties she belongs to the street he didn't even mention um the trips that these women are taking to jamaica and gambia and all those other places as well where they're actually they're actually they're actually doing the thing that they're accusing passport bros are doing like notice those women ain't calling that out either though let's keep it moving now you understand Sierra just released a new song called the independent woman don't need a black man he's stupid and she's married so there's something else going on in our country in which the government and corporate America knows that if, if they can keep the black woman single she would be the highest she would be the biggest consumer and she and she would have the highest debt and black women haven't figured that out yet, but black men have, and they've given up, and they're, and they're moving on. Because they know in the Philippines, Thailand, Ghana, Kenya, and other places of the world, women are more feminine and more cooperative. I'm just saying. Peace. Well, you know what? I can't disagree with him on that. It's definitely something brewing in our country. It's, and the sad part is, is that men are seeing this. And as part, and as men, we're logical. We understand it, and it makes sense to us. But it's not. But we understand that it's not good for us as a whole. And when you try to explain to this to women, they're just kind of like they're not trying to hear it because, once again, they see it as control. But if they really was just look outside of themselves and outside of the situation and not think in such a selfish manner. They would actually learn that, well, damn, we do have the most debt. Yeah, y'all are the most enrolled in college, but y'all got the most debt. And y'all own a lot of consumer debt as well. What better way than to make more money off of y'all than to keep us separated? Because once y'all with us, we got to be more frugal with that money. And now, and nowadays, women don't really know how to be frugal with money like that. That's why they hold more debt than men, even though they so-called claim they make more money. Sure, women are making more money, but I'm like, let's keep it a buck, man. I'm like, we we know what that we know what that's tied to. You know what I mean? It ain't like it ain't like there's this big it ain't it ain't like there's been a big boom of women making more money because we got a whole bunch of new women in, engineers or something. Like we know we know what that money's tied to. Let's keep it a buck. Anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this. I like to know what your thoughts on this i know like i said it's going to be guys that said this been happening i'm not disagreeing with you but i think we can all agree that you know within the last year or two especially after the death of kevin samuels this is what really propelled it to where it's at now all right if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm it helps me reach about the audience 
Also, look out for the Traveler Vlog channel, Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, you guys. Deuces.